Hey everybody, today I want to show you my new design for a silent hopper timer. If you don't know what a hopper timer is, it's a new invention made by Ito where items go back and forth between two hoppers facing each other and that way it creates a new kind of clock or a timer. In a hopper timer you have basically two components. The hoppers where the items ping pong and an RS knowledge to check in which direction the items need to go. And in this design I used a hopper based RS knowledge with two hoppers facing each other with only one item in one of them. And that way you can switch between outputs really easily by unlocking one of the hoppers. Just like in Ethos design, you can stop the timer at any moment just by locking the two hoppers, like so. You have three possible ways to get an output from this hopper timer. You have a pulse every other cycle. You have a pulse every cycle. And you have a constant output that switches at every cycle. Now let's see how to build this. We're going to start with two hoppers facing each other for the RS null latch with two blocks on top of them and two blocks in front of them with two redstone comparators going into the blocks above the hoppers and two comparators going out of the hoppers. Then we're going to put two blocks and two redstone torch and finally the two hoppers facing each other containing the items for the timer. And to finish our hopper timer, we're going to put one item in the RS no latch and some items in the hoppers. You can put more items in the hoppers to get a longer timer, but if you want to know exactly how many items you need for a given time, you should check Ethos video where he explains in details the maths behind it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.